Hello and welcome to an Undying run. Uh, in this one, we're going to be doing a wee bit of tutorializing with the Undine as well. So, here we have Civics, Leak Shall Perish. Go ahead and just pause and read all that. We also have Biological Supremacy. We have Psionic Consciousness. Fanatic Xenophobe, Supreme Biology, Born of Fluidic Space, Telepaths, and Bioworld Preference. Alright, let's go ahead and begin. Yep, I have all that. I have a few other stuff here. Alright, so we're going to create all major civilizations. Doop, 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 I take a few minutes. All miners and warp capables. Apparently got done fast. All right. So when you start, you have 12 unemployed pops here on Lemon, Lyman, and then nothing really here. What we are going to do first is check, always check here first before you figure out what you're going to do on these planets. So we have a Pergium deposit, strategic location, and two trilliums. The Gevonite Caverns does nothing for them. They didn't even get that. All right, and on Orman, we have Dilithium times three. Can't put anything down. It's kind of useless. Uh, so the only thing that actually pertains to them is strategic location. So we're going to use this for our food, since it doesn't give get the negatives that the Trellium and Pergium, Pergium do for this one. So the first things we're going to do is wait for food, uh, for enough minerals. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and get, um, grab that one. Then we will grab, uh, this one's probably the better one. And definitely this one because it gives us that resource. Alright, so we have a few spots here that aren't taken up. So let's take a look. And all we have is this critter. Oh wait, uh, we need to actually unpause, let Q pop in. There we go. You. So we're going to turn on the tech slowdown. And in wars. Um, cannon mode. I'm going to make sure the UFP forms. Um, this is different. Uh, we're going to try the combat speed. And map expansion. Alright. And let's start the game. Alright, there we go. Oh, go away, Q. We act well. Actually, this will be handy for anyone, so we're gonna keep going with that. We're, we'll accept it for now. All right. So first off, let's go to our ship designer. Turn that off. Give a spot here for a particular. The um, mineral tech. 
prospecting bay. What's for? Uh, we'll go ahead and put that on. Save. Discovered a new ship's license. Now you want me to tell you how to build them? No. Well, tough. Listen up. Yeah, understood. If you need any help, it basically shows what each of the sections do. Science ship. Go here. Act additional labs. So this will help there. And we don't need that. That that's already good. All right. And let's go with here. All right. So these guys. The best thing to do is the biopulse weapon and the bio torpedo. As you can tell, it has some pretty good bonuses, and it actually gets better as it goes on. It gets shield damage later on. For now, no shield damage, but it does some penetration, whereas this just has a complete negative. So, we're going to place this, and if you look here, you'll see this go up by quite a bit. We don't have anything there. Nothing there. Go ahead and save that. Now let's go to our frigate. We need to do the same thing. Pop in the torpedoes. This we will actually add in the armor. This is a 10% bonus. This is just a straight 480. So this will get better over time, as opposed to this one that you don't really get anything other than just armor plating for this. So this will eventually go up to like 15, 20, 25, 30, so forth, so on and so forth. Alright, so here, uh, frigates and up will get this, bio module. So you get armor regen, hull regen, shield regen, just daily automatic, and it will go up to a 2 and a 3. So we'll go ahead and save this. Eventually we'll have other sections here, but we only have that one. Here we have Bio Frigate, which has some small slots, and then Bio Ship, which doesn't. So with this one you actually get an extra um, extra light, and then two turret slots. So you actually Technically, get a little more with that one. As for the satellite, I don't really use them, and we don't have anything to really put on them at the moment. So we're just going to ignore them. Now, we will upgrade all of these. And that one. And we also need to recruit, apparently. So let's go with let's go with the repair one. And yes, the Undyne live for five hundred plus years. So we don't have to worry about age for a while. All right. So there's that. Interesting. We actually actually have, besides Schema, we have this planet. That's new. Um, this one has Dilithium, doesn't do anything. Trillium and Strategic Location. And what does Schema have? Flooded Mounds, Trillium, Ergium, Strategic Location. Okay, not bad, not bad. All right, once this is done, we will send you down here to survey. You over here to survey. And you up here to survey. For now, we'll have you do that one. And can't do that. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. Alright, so... Uh, districts really come dancing. Uh, districts, it tells you a little bit about districts and specialization. The Undyne, you definitely want to specialize your planets. So, this one is going to end up being our one of our industrial plants. 
Whereas this one will be our food and um, energy. There we go. First, let's add... Oh, we can't do anything there. I... Oh, because we don't have enough um, deuterium. Not yet, anyway. Alright, so let's go back here. And... That doesn't have anything. That one doesn't really have anything. And that one doesn't have anything. Really. But... What we're going to do is... We're going to put you in there. And... This one can technically already have one, but it doesn't. We want to put in there. And as for the regula regulatory node, that one has that. Kind of really doesn't do anything for us, but it's better than nothing. So we're going to put you in, and then plop you. And let's go back to the fleet. We want to add some frigates in. Down there. And we're going to add one, two, three. Once we get destroyers, we'll add some of those in here and here. And that's what our fleets are going to be. Until then, uh, let's go ahead and continue. All right, uh, this is sectors. How do they work? Yes, and for the Undyne, their entire area ends up becoming one sector, so it doesn't really matter too much until you actually break out. And we don't use Dilithium. That means nothing to the Undyne. So this resource... Uh, let's see here. And where are you? Lat so dilithium, latinum, uh, benzene, agnesite, trillium mean nothing for the undyne. Doesn't really do anything. They're just there to literally sell to build up your economy in other places, which is nice. Major ones for the Undyne are food, uh, food, and alloys for ships, and then obviously the standard, you need energy credits, minerals, and biomass, or supplies, and crew. Alright, so there's that. Let's grab you. This will give us the hatchery, which will allow us to... Um, Basically, it's the Undyne's version of a hospital. Alright, so let's go ahead and plop two more of those down. And no, we cannot replace, so we're just going to keep that. Alright, so we have all of those. Which, if you look, you have tactical... Nuclear Labs, which is the one that we're really wanting. And that. So we're going to go with the Telepathic Node. This is the one that is the most beneficial for all your combat ships. As you can see, it has tracking and accuracy. Whereas the other one, you had either accuracy or tracking. And then here we have that resource, so now let's go ahead and grab the Trillium. And continue. Uh, this will give you some tips and tricks. A few of them. The Undyne, but a tutorial is always much better. So this is um, Planet Habitability. We prefer, however, yep. 
bio worlds, which the Undyne can eventually turn proto bio bio worlds into bio worlds later on. And we have another bio world, so let's see. We have only the strategic location is useful, so this will be another good food one. So basically for their Undyne ships, we want to have two to three times as much food as alloys for the ships, yeah, generally. And we have, we don't know yet. All right, traditions. So the Undyne have three specific ones for them. Dominance, which deals with um, slaves and population growth. And a few genetic modification points. Revelation is the research one. See here. A little bit of leader stuff. You also get researcher upkeep and supremacy genetics. And then you have supremacy, which is all of their combat stuff. So we're going to go with the combat stuff first. We have ship upkeep and naval capacity decrease, increase, respectively. And then we have capacity increase, empire reduction, monthly unity increase, sublight speed increase, um, commander skill level, 100%, and uh, automation research. Bioprocessing, we have the damage versus medium and war exhaustion. And then we have home territory fire rate increase. Let's go ahead and grab that. Oh, and at the end you have armor and shield penetration. Alright, and continue. We have... So, growth node. Empire-wide, this is actually really good. Ginger speed is okay, but this one you don't get very often, so if that ever comes up on yours, especially the growth node, take it. It'll help your food immensely. Alright, now we have a cognitive node, which is for this, this science critter. We have unity, and we have all this. So, since this actually helps with research a wee bit, as well as build speed and cost, I'm going to go with the engineer first. And regulatory node critter. Anomaly research speed and agenda speed. In this case, we're going to go with the agenda speed. And I'm going to move one of you over here. Actually, I'm going to move two of you, and that one will take that spot once it's available. All right, so we have our first agenda. So we're going to grab that and then go with. And this, it doesn't actually exp expend the council because you only get. Five with the Undyne. So ignore this one. We're going to go with the Unity. This will help most right now, early in game. Ah, we have the Hatchery. Excellent. Alright, so now we're going to grab the Fabrication Complex. This is actually handy. This allows you to make anything from Lithium, Deuterium, Uranium Plates. Uh, let's see. Also, um, Telonian Crystals, Chemocyte, Topoline, and lose Trellium D and just straight up energy credits. Very handy. So for right now, we're going to add in Hatchery. That gives a spawner job, which will give us jobs here. And increase this. We're going to do the same thing here. Oh, and also hearing him. That gives amenities. Just flat out amenities. No jobs needed. Ah. Thank you. Alright, so 
stop that. Every now and then, you'll get these that pop in. These little fluidic dwellers. Basically, it, it says space amoeba, it's basically about what they are, but they're annoying. And right now, we don't have the ability to combat them at the moment. But we do need, however... Go and that want turn fifty there and uh what are we missing right now? Are missing thought that so we need a little bit more of that. And now, let's see. What can we reinforce? Just that. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and grab one of those. And then we will replace one of these, once we can, with Biomass Foundry. We need a bit more minerals. Alright, so we had researched the telepathic node. Now we want... I don't have any geothermal stations yet, so we're going to go with the dampener. And for the engineering, we had trellium, so let's go for... Pergium. That will help. These mostly stay in that area. Uh, can we get here? Ah, okay, so we're gonna survey this first, and then that. Anomaly found. And you do get some anomalies. We're gonna go ahead and grab that. Alright, that. Pause real quick, thank you. Alright, so for our first one here, we're going to grab this. It'll increase our unity, but also our Starbucks capacity and our empire size reduction. Uh, let's see. So right now, this one has ship upkeep and army upkeep. Not bad. You can also get minerals and that of that. Let's go with the minerals for now. Then here, our commander, we're going to grab shield hit points. For one of our other scientists. Actually, not bad for a planet. I'm going to go with, for now, Ambassador. That should have been you. Yes, so that one's that one. All right, and let's go to our fleet manager, hop in here. Now we have telepathic tracing and suppression node, which is the same as the tactical. It's just it's specifically for the Undyne. Grab that. Save. Do the same thing for a frigate. Boop. And... Boop. Boop. Have... Nope, just that one still. And... Oh, that one's being built, so we can't really save that yet. We have mastered a new technology. And we got another little over a month left. Alright, so we have the fabrication complex. We're going to grab the adaptive hull. Sorry, base hit points. Uh, now let's go back to here and save. Upgrade. 
All right, so we have all those. Let's grab the energized neural core, which is their version of computer. We have the pergium. Let's go ahead and grab main engineering. So we have the adaptive hull. Uh, let's get the leader. Yeah, leader cost reduction. All right, so we have the energized core. Let's grab the matter fabrication alloy production. That will allow this to have alloys along with the minerals and supplies. All right, next up. Ah, here we go. Um, let's go with the destroyer first. All right, sublight speed increase. Starts off a little on the slower side with the undyne. We have mastered a new technology. Okay, so we have leader cost. Um, out of all of them, this is probably the better one. This will allow you to upgrade your capital. Uh, all yeah. So it upgrades the better I have basically, and toiler outpost. I've actually not seen that on the um planet, so I'm not quite sure on that one. Let's see. So it should be down here. I, it's not even here, so no clue. Continue. All right, now we have the destroyer. We're going to add more housing. Now let's look at our destroyers. Here's our destroyer. We have destroyer and heavy weapons. Um, we have seven, and four, five, six, seven, so kind of doesn't matter, just depends on if you want less light weapon for a heavy weapon, and an extra medium. I'm going to stick with this for now. I'm going to add the bio torpedoes in. We are going to add the adaptive armor and the adaptive regeneration, so that adds um, armor and hull region. Also, the pressure node and the two telepathic nodes. And we're also going to bring that up and that. So this is Undyne specific. You can see here, it's just this grappler is just sublight speed. This, however, is Evasion and sublight speed, and it's a lot more sublight speed reduction than that one by 20%. Add in a destroyer, and we might as well just add a frigate. Oh, and it rounds it out to a nice 75 even. Here we will add two destroyers and a frigate. All right. Um, alloy. Let's go ahead and grab the... Um, no, let's grab the focused weapons first. And we can upgrade. We have mastered a new technology. So let's go ahead and grab the Telonian Crystals. Oh, let's also look at our Edicts, shall we? So how much are we getting... 
Nope, not enough deuterium yet for this. Um, feed the fire, however, is good, so we're going to grab that. And this is also good. So we're about 15 over, so this will drop down a little bit, which isn't bad, but eh. We'll eventually get more time. Alright, since it's the only thing we can go for, we're going to add more food. Alright, let's go with the Psy Field 1. This will help our ships as well. And... Ah, so, for the Undying, each of the bio unit growers actually gives two shipyard capacity. So, at maximum, you have 12 here. It's not too shabby. Let's grab the skill level and the technology. We have mastered a new technology. Alright, and let's grab... Uh, it really doesn't matter, but we'll go with you. And you are just the... yeah. Continue. Alright, so we have Psy Field 1. Let's grab... Jump Drive. All right, let's go ahead and take this one out, and then this one out. All right, so we have that. Ah, let's grab the population growth speed. That will help immensely. Ah, and since we have that, we can change this over to... Ah, we only have those. Um, we're going to go with... Mm, excuse me. Thelonian Crystals for now. This one, once we have them, we'll go with Duranium Plates. Alright, um, this is... Special System, Environmental System. Um, cannot Own first type are environmental systems, such as certain black holes, nebula, or hazard systems. These are designated to split up the map for gameplay reasons. Alright. <laughs> Human. Human desire to have what is not allowed. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, second type is called event system. Uh, on purpose and may serve as story purpose at a later stage. Much like this one here, we cannot get to because it's story driven. We need to progress a lot more. Alright. So, we have that. Let's grab our Copa line. We have mastered a new technology. Alright, so we have the jump drive. Let's grab the deuterium. Alright, so we have shield hit point bonus. Let's grab Duranium. We have mastered a new technology. Alright, so we have Deuterium. Um grab the encryption. And here is where uh, with this tech you can turn protobio worlds into full. Bio worlds. Situation log updated. All right, let's grab that. Um, commander. Okay, yep. And we have fire rate. This is planetary. We don't want planetary because they're part of fleet. So we want fleet stuff. the Duranium. Let's grab the uh, Propulsion Array. Protobiomass. So, Thermal Vent, Trillium, Jovanite. So, at least four of, of the five there we can actually use. 
thermal vent will be very handy. Um, let's grab the, the braking. We have mastered a new technology. Alright, and here we have the biomass world here. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that. We have mastered a new technology. Grab that. All right. Survey speed. Ocean. This one will help the most. We have mastered a new technology. So I'm going to rename this second just ah the okay that was interesting and we have more of those pause and then first to destroy our fleet all right so we have or we should be able to take them out. Just a new so that's the unity. Let's grab build up. That'll help with the ships. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. Hostile Xeno fleet detected. System survey complete. Alright, so after you get done killing them, you have one of five options. You'll either get food, minerals, energy, um, pergium, or water ice. So let's hope it's going to be pergium. And we get Pergium. Sweet. Alright, um... Athletic generator. That goes on ships, which I haven't needed, really. Alright, and... Territory fire rate, there we go. And the flesh is strong. So this gives population uh, assembly speed, which is what the Indyne use. And then uh, increase by a, th uh, a third of what it already is. And then a 15% reduction from uh, population. Let's actually take a look real quick. Yep. That's what I thought. Alright, so... Well, that's unusual. All right, so go ahead and upgrade, and then survey. I'm actually kind of hoping it destroys some of the scouts, because we don't need them. All right, and we get... Food. We have mastered a new technology. All right, so we have that one done. Excellent. Uh, that's quite a bit far in advance. We're going to that for now. Let's go with that. Ships have been upgraded. Now you two 
Now you two can go after that together. We have mastered a new technology. Um Let's get the tactical. And we get more food. Ah, uh, you know. More food is good. Uh, let's go ahead and... Where the devil is it? There it is. There are two of those. Uh, and we're getting holding pin. And that's it, apparently. Alright, so terraforming. Can do that. That one. And schema. And then we are going to that in. And there. Grab Dilithium. Alright, that uses supplies. Let's go ahead and do that. That'll give us housing. We have mastered a new technology. Ow. Alright, uh let's see. We have growth node. Okay, so only that one. So that's the one we're going to pick. And now let's select the next one. We're going to go with our science one here. Let's grab that. I'm just going to build another construction ship. That. Two. That one. And then that one. And then that one, please. You will be placed on automatic construction. Automatic construction. Alright, memory hull. Um, let's go ahead and get that. We have mastered a new technology. Alright, so here we have three tr Trillium deposits and a strategic location. All those are good. So this will probably be another industrial one. And I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that. Our ships have been upgraded. Our ships have been upgraded. And upgrade that one. We have All right, so going to call guys this world. Hmm. Excuse me. That research, let's go ahead and grab the... Yeah, let's go ahead and grab this one. This will allow us to change every one other than our species into livestock. Yummy, yummy livestock. Uh, for you, we'll go with society. Mastered a new technology. Oh, we got the prospecting bay. Uh, let's grab the mining production. And... Yeah, every now and then you get this happening where it wants just another one. So I'm just going to delete that because we don't need it. And then find the construction ship. We're going to add the Prospector Bay, and the Man Station. 
Um. Oh, and a pod. And for the science ship, we will add also the command station and escape pod. Um, you're going to be going there. Let's go ahead and upgrade you first, and then send you over. Upgrade you. Uh, and... Construction complete. Hello, do that first, and then back to that. Alright, we're going to upgrade this starbase. Our ships have been upgraded. 